G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this is the video in which I'm going to go through some of the entries and the winner of the third ever challenge of the month competition which is Skullaholics. So this month people were required to, uh, if they wanted to participate, create an artwork centred around a skull theme. Now uh, that didn't necessarily mean it needs to feature only a human skull, uh, it meant that in some way a skull figure needs to be incorporated as a central theme of the image and that could be human or animal or you know demonic or otherwise anyways so we have seen some fantastic entries and i've just seen so many wonderful creative things and i'm just going to go through about five or six of them uh which have really caught my attention before i get to the winner and then i'm going to show all of your artwork off because it's all just fantastic so getting started i have two pieces i want to show off by coco longo and uh, the first is called pirates which has an awesome sort of metallic feel to the skull and is extremely well painted and has a good high resolution and nice wet feel to some of the areas of it. It's quite clearly a take of the Pirates of the Caribbean skull of Johnny Depp's character and it's extremely well executed. And the other piece of theirs that I wanted to share is called Some Old Warriors, which has a bit of a more um, naturalistic style of painting and it just looks really kind of cool. When you think of skulls, this is one of those images that just brings up the iconography of what it is, what uh, is represented in a skull, death and, and uh, decrepit sort of figures and it's just really well lit, well painted and uh, nicely presented. Another great piece is by artist Graphite Samurai and it's called Penance Stare with Sprinkles. Now it's a little take on the character Ghost Rider and I just think it's one of the coolest pieces in the uh, showcase. I love the style and I love the theme. It's just so cool to see this little kid Ghost Rider buying ice cream with his little flaming tricycle behind him. This artist has conveyed really great style, used awesome colour and line work, the compositioning uh, and the framing of the image being that downward sort of angle and everything it just comes together in a really clever way. Another great piece is by artist Noik Skra D. Noik Noik Skra D. I don't know how to pronounce these names. Uh, and it's called Female Dark Jedi Korriban. It's a dark female Jedi with a skull theme in the shoulder piece of the armor, as you can see. And uh, in particular in this piece, aside from nice sort of coloring and uh, balance of the image, I really like the way that the face uh, is painted and the details of the armor as well. So really great job there. The next piece is by artist Vincent Weiss and it's called Dr. Bones. And it's really kind of a wacky, out there, really kind of bizarre, but stylistically interesting and very creative piece. I love seeing pieces like this where uh, the theme is given, which is skull and you can really just see that some of these people have just really gone out and above with making something different that isn't necessarily just a skull and I love how wacky this kind of is and the way it's all pulled around and it's a very cheeky sort of creepy piece and I like the way it's come across. An astounding image by artist Zenik is called From Mexico with Death. The skill that has been put into creating this painting is just amazing. I love the flowers on the hair, I love the tone of the skin, uh, the smoky framing of the image and the way everything blends into each other in such a smooth, crisp way. It's just phenomenal and those eyes are just really rich and you just can't stop staring at them. Fantastic work. And the winner of the third challenge of the month, ladies and gentlemen, is Ishnuala and the piece is called Whale. This artist has entered previous challenges of the month and has always contributed some fantastic artwork. And this piece is no different. And I just love the way this stands out. First of all, it's got an amazing ethereal quality. It glows and kind of pulls me in. The mixes of these light rich blues with the mystical purples in the background and the sparkles of the sky as well as the motion of the whale and I love the fact that while given the theme of skull not only does this not div diverge from that theme but it really takes it and rides with it but in a direction that not many people have really gone with. So while I love the fact that a lot of people have done human skulls and variation on things like that I really love uh, the ingenuity and ambition that this artist has displayed as well as the astounding technical execution it's really a stunning piece anyways thank you all so much for entering this month's challenge of the month and stay tuned till tomorrow where i'll be announcing the next challenge of the month with a few extra prizes until then ladies and gentlemen following this we will see all of the rest of the entries to the challenge of the month and i wanted to thank you all again for entering because just the response uh, and involvement from all of you in this this series of these monthly challenges is just overwhelming i really love how much you guys are really getting into this and so I'm going to be putting in as much effort as I can to give back 
back to you guys to uh, kind of expand the prize pool and give as much credit and exposure as I possibly can. So that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later.